Hey, welcome to Yorf. Today we're going to show you how to execute a workflow that does a user funnel analysis on some uh, data that I downloaded from Superbase. So first let's create the workflow. Uh, you see the three files I uploaded on the right. You could click on them. But I'm going to ask Yorf directly, hey, uh, just help me do a user funnel analysis on these, on these data. So uh, Yorf will come back with some clarifying questions. It's asking what defines a user? What are the key events to consider as steps in the user funnel? And so now I'm going to respond to Yorf to answer its questions. So yes, all those user IDs should map to each other. And the step of my user funnel the, should be step one, the user signs up. Um, and then step two, the user uploads a file, actually. And then step three should be that the user uh, sends a message to the app. So let's see what UORF comes back with. It tests a sample transformation on uh, the data, it tests another step, um, and it's successful, and then it reviews its logic and gives me back this review here. So it suggests some potential enhancements here around the timestamp parsing and handling of missing data. It says this is normal and expected in funnel analysis. Um, so from here, what we can do is look at what the output data is, and what we see here is the, the signups, the uploaded files, and the sent messages. Uh, this is looking pretty normal. We can look at the intermediate step data as well. So we see for each user ID, when was their, their sign up date, their first uploaded timestamp, and their first message. Uh, we also have the code here for every step uh, in case we need it. We can edit the code and have your um, test any edits as well on dry runs of the pipeline. Um, but anyway, this is what I want to do now. I want to execute, because this was just a small sample of my data, I want to execute on a larger collection of the data. So let's ask Yorf, how, am I, how can I actually do that? Uh, so Yorf will search the user guide and it'll say, here, this is what you do. You connect your data. There are various ways to do it through data connectors or file uploads. And then what you do is you publish your draft workflow. So how do you do that? If I wanted to publish this, uh, I'll ask it again, and it'll say, okay, review your draft, click the publish button, right? And so uh, this is actually the, the save button up here, but it'll create a published workflow tab uh, in here. And so the next step is then to execute. So how do I actually run this? It will search the user guide again, and then I'll say here, navigate to the published workflow tab, uh, click the execute button, which is this play button over here, and now it'll take me to a new page where I can monitor the job until it completes and then download from this eyeball button over here.